Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Sharp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we're one of the most famous physical therapists on the internet. Well, in our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, we're going to do something quite unusual today. Yes. I drew on my leg. Yes. And the whole video is going to be about the knee. Is and that a... Is that a tattoo? No, that's oh. that's a marker. It should come off. Water base, yeah. Yeah, right. Well, wow, that's good. That's I was good. smart about it. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna give away a massage gun this week, and we wanted to make sure you're aware of that. You just go to bombbrad.com, go to the giveaway section, and it's the T two. Do you Brad you want to talk about it real quick? Yeah, the T two has got a lot of power, it's got some excellent travel. It will come with five heads. Here's four of them. Well, let's, that's fine. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, the other one is over on that gun. Uh, so, and it works extremely well. Yeah, we always have high quality. Yeah. All and right, let's get started, Brad. I've used it myself many times. Good for you. <laughs> All right. Tanner, if you want to focus down here, I marked off some uh, objects, <laughs> which are part of the Structures, new, Bob. Structures, yeah. Bony prominences and ligaments and tendons. And when we're poking around a knee and pushing on it, this, these are the things that we're looking at. Right, yeah. So, so if you're the therapist or the doctor's doing this and you're wondering what, what's going on, well, that's, so that's part of it. here's the kneecap. We'll talk about that in a second. But right here and right here is the joint line. Can you see that, Tanner? Yep. So that's where the femur attaches to the tibia and it forms a joint. So if you have arthritis or a ligament tear, or a cartilage tear, like mm -hmm. a meniscus, yep. that's where you're going to feel pain. So you, you, you put your finger right along there and push along there. And if you find, the guy goes, oh, that hurts. Yeah. That's it's, the indicator. Right, exactly. So any th other thoughts about it, Brad? <laughs> about the joint line? Yeah. Well, yeah, so often, like you said, meniscus is real common, arthro arthritis problems. You know, and we'll get into the uh, other the common right. yeah, in infrapatellar tendon. Yep. This is green area. One way to find the joint line, what I always found helpful, Brad, mm. is just to, to find the kneecap, mm -hmm. which is usually pretty easy to find to most people, and just take my hand and go like this. And then make right, a, right underneath it. And make a smile. Yeah. I, I should have drew on my knee. I, I would have done that too. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, that, that, that's what I do. And I kind of go up and down and feel for the little indentation. Yeah, you don't feel a, like a little, yeah. Yeah. Bump. Th this takes a little bit of practice. Sometimes if you have never done this, you may not. All right. It as easy. Let's see you're having some pain around here. And that might be the kneecap. Sure. Especially kind of diffuse pain. Mm -hmm. It's not real sharp, but. It's just, and also if you hear some uh, grinding, like grinding, clicking, clicking yeah. yeah. If you straighten your knee out, I always thought it was kind of neat, neat when I was in PT school. I didn't realize that the kneecap is just kind of floating in there if you right, relax the if muscles. if you relax. Yep. Next, uh, how about the two ligaments that are on the sides, Brad? Mm. <laughs> oh, you can see that one. The, yeah. So that's the lateral collateral ligament. LCL. Yep. It goes, it actually attaches into this bone, which is the fibula. Yes, the infamous fibula. And here's the medial collateral ligament. So if you're poking around here and, oh, all of a sudden the person, you know, mm. complains. And, you know, if it hurts right here, it's not going to be anything that we can think of, except maybe <laughs> what you just showed on that one video, Brad, with the, the oh, red, right, red the retinaculum. Retinaculum. Yeah. That's another but if, story. It, if it's right here, you're going to think that maybe it's a ligament. If it's right here, you maybe think it's going right. to be a ligament. So that one's the medial collateral ligament, right. the MCL. All right. Here's a big tendon that's pretty easy to find. Infrapatella tendon. Mm -hmm. Infra means below. Patella means kneecap. So below the kneecap. And I got it in green marked there. It attaches to this bump right here. Right. The tibial tuberosity. Right. If that <laughs> is real, by the way, if that's tender or inflamed, mm -hmm. you might have Oshkod slaughter disease. Yes, it's not Oshkod a fun one. Oshkod slaughter disease, right? Not fun at all. There's often times an associated bump. A and bump. It can, it can get pretty big, actually. It's not this fun. This would be in somebody that's in a groin phase, like 16 years old, 17 for guys. Yeah. Girls are a little bit younger. 
Yeah. But uh, sometimes it's it not going to happen on Brad. For a while. Yeah. No, older people don't usually get it. So, again, if that's tender, this tendon, you might have like jumper's knee mm -hmm. where you really overworked that tendon. Yeah. And so, there's that fat pad underneath. Right, there the too. fat pad. Yeah. That can give you trouble too. Yeah. Right. Even if you're skinny, you still have a fat pad. <laughs> That's right. Good point, Brad. How about we go to the tendon above the knee, Brad? Sure. The quadricep tendon. I had this one. So uh, that's the green area there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? Okay. Um, and right below that, Brad, is actually the supra patellar. I'm trying to think of the name. Ah, ah. <laughs> uh, pouch, uh, super patella pouch. Yeah, what kind of moment? A yeah, senior, senior moment. moment. It happens. Leave Believe that it. in. Yeah. Don't take it out. Yeah. I want to show people that we're live here. Yeah. <laughs> so that when I when you have it in, in uh, what I did for it is I did some cross fiber massage on it. Yeah, so you're going back and forth with your fingers. Well, that's where the gun came in handy. The massage, massage gun. Yeah. Let's make that uh, clear. But <clears throat> if the super patella pouch also gets bound down quite often, sure. people, Brad, so also massage massage will work right. on that. Yep. So in either case, you're good to massage that which, area. About which that. reminds you of that video we just put out that's very popular with uh, right. Paul you know, from the university. He showed how you can massage actually with a tool or right. the handle like of a butter a, knife. Right. Uh, it's a great video. Yep. Uh, what have I missed now, Brad? Um, oh, the IT band. Ah, you can't so forget about that. there's a band that. that runs along the outside of the leg. It comes all the way down and attaches into that fibular head. Right. So it's going to be tender along here. And you often find that with overuse injuries like running or mm -hmm. biking. And if that's tender along here or you feel some clicking along mm. here, you may want to foam roll the IT band sure. and stretch. Yep. You know, so. Yeah, there's some specific stretches you can do with that. And I think we uh, have a bursa in there, too, that can that's, get irritated. There's a number of that's bursas That's right. In the bursas knee. all over. And speaking of bursas, Brad, let's talk about this one. Okay. I always look for this one. The Pez Ant Serenus Bursa. That what do they sounds come like up with lot. these names? Yeah. You know, yeah. Pez Ant Serenus. Why don't they just call it the inside knee Bursa? Because what does Pez Ant Serenus mean? Did you look it up? Goose's foot. Oh, no wonder. Now so it's making sense. it's got sense. three tendons. Oh, I see. You know, like a okay. goose's foot. Yeah. And it's got one, two, three. Oh, okay. You've got it drawn in there, yep. too. And the Bursa is right below that. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you palpate, you know, you're down... Quite low below the knee, a mm. couple of inches almost. Sure, really. below the joint line. Yeah, below the joint line. I'm a little. I'm probably a little bit high, to be honest. With you. It's probably down here further. Well, one way or another. Yeah, you'll feel it when you'll you. Feel, yeah, it's it's tender insane. down, way yeah. down here. You're going, oh, I might have a little bursa problem, and then you want to stretch these muscles, right. uh, hamstring, sartorius. Gracilis, right? You've been doing your homework, yeah, Bob. That's Most right. excellent. But I had a senior moment there. So, <laughs> Don't all right. Don't worry about it. Uh, what else we got to talk about? Because I think that's it, Brad. People might be wondering, what are we talking about? A bursa. Oh, yeah. And there's bursas. They're little fluid-filled sac. I always think of them like a pancake. And if you have a, a tendon or a, a, a or ligament that's over the top of a bone, it's going to rub on that bone and create friction. So right. you, you put a bursa in there, and it allows for lubrication right. and keep things going smoothly uh so and, and they can like get, brad said there's bursts all over the knee yeah you got them in your shoulder you got them in your knee you got them in your hip and there so if you got bursitis it's like well where which bursts sac is it inflamed and they become irritated a lot of nerve cells in there when they get inflamed yes. ouch they're they, yeah, they, they can be very tender they talk to you so um <laughs> You know, when you find out that you have a problem, first off, you may want to go to the doc doctor and yeah. verify. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> you can then check out our videos that will get in detail what to do for you, each individual problem. Exactly. So. Right. So, uh, all right. We can fix it about it, Brad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Except for I, I had a thought. Heart. I had a oh. thought in my mind, but <laughs> I did. senior moment. Here Let's we go. do the heart thing. Uh, are we allowed to have senior moments before we're 65? I'm, I'm, yeah, and I'm not even 60 yet, yeah. so no, I didn't have one. I just uh, had a... A brain fart? Right, that's what I was thinking. All right, thanks for watching. Be careful. Those.